Went to Bodies, Bodies, Bodies the other night, and it sucked, sucked, sucked. From the most inconsistent film studio on the planet, A24, comes another slasher flick. A classic whodunit with a bunch of 20-somethings playing a game during a hurricane. The film stars every Hollywood actress's favorite, and no man's, Pete Davidson. He, a 40-year-old named Greg, and a bunch of college chicks all hang out for the night and decide to play a game of bodies, bodies, bodies which is actually just a game of Among Us. This is a live action Among Us film. The rules of the game are simple. Each person gets a card, one says you're the killer, the others run away not knowing who the killer is. Once they get tapped on the back, they play dead, the lights go on, and they determine who the killer is if they can. Otherwise, lights back off, continue the game. It's literally Among Us! And I'm saying literally not because I want to, I actually hate the word and what the English language has done to it, but because I must bring it up, it is uttered no less than 15 times in the film. Because as I stated, this is a college group of kids that all talk this way. They say stuff like, you're toxic, and I need to process this, and you're gaslighting me, and about a dozen or so other terms you will find on Twitter or on a college campus. Although to be honest, these terms are a bit outdated already. I'm hearing crap like mid, no cap, L. So obviously the ladies that wrote the screenplay aren't quite up with the terminology. And they also really can't stand this new generation. Because at the end of the day, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies is all about owning the teens. It's making fun of how stupid and useless they are, their petty squabbles, how they don't know how to do anything for themselves, how they cook up drama for attention and totally misread the room or label people incorrectly. Now, I'm not saying that doesn't happen, although I don't think age is a requirement for the ignorance. However, it's miserable to watch. I don't want to watch a movie like that, where 70% of the time, one or two girls is wandering through a darkened hallway with glow sticks and a phone to light their way. The movie just comes off as desperately trying to be edgy. The film starts with a 30 second extended close up of two girls kissing. How original. I hate to break it to you, film. Netflix has one of those movies every single week on the platform. Again, it's just not very entertaining, and by the time the whole thing winds down, I'm just left thinking, all right, well, wish I would've had that hour and a half back. It also doesn't help that the tone is kind of confusing. It's clearly supposed to be tongue in cheek, making fun of these kids and the scenario they're in, but everybody's playing things very straight. And at times it can kind of come off like the actors are just not very good at what they're doing, but they're playing a character that's in a film that's supposed to be kind of poking fun of themselves while they're high and drunk and on ecstasy. Like there's so many layers to play. It's no wonder the actors maybe struggled with the material. Complaining aside, what did it do right for me? Has a great score, love the music, kept me kind of engaged when it was just another scene of them wandering the halls or in a kitchen, crawling around on the floor. And the visuals, even though they're dark, are very crisp. The night scenes are all fully ensconced in black. There's no artifacts, there's no snow everywhere like there was in the last film I watched, Beast. And I will always give a movie props for trying to be different, telling a unique story, taking some chances, even if the risks I thought were very played out. But maybe you saw it and have a different take. I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie and TV show related content here each and every week. It'd be great to keep growing the channel. I'm a one man operation after all. Now, if you excuse me, I have to head on to Twitter and see who Pete Davidson's dating this week so I can get pissed off all over again and question if we truly are in a simulation and Pete cracked the code. Thanks again for watching the video. And since I am so in touch with the youth of today, I should let you know I'm on TikTok. It's at Adam Does Movies, so you can follow me there. I post a ton of mainly poster reaction videos. People seem to be liking those. Uh, it's a good time. If that doesn't make me cool, then maybe this will. I'm also on Twitch Gaming. Yeah, Adam Does Movies on Twitch as well. I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere the kids are. <laughs>